Great. Now it's that time that we do not cross over to Kisumu County. Willis, the word master, a.k.a. Willis Ching, is seated right next to me. Willis, great <laughs> to have you in studio. <laughs> Betty, we are not crossing over to Kisumu mm. because I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> if we cross over to Kisumo, yes. my seat there will be blank. Exactly. Otherwise, it's great to see you it's too. It's great to see you. How have you been? I've been great, and yes. you look really good. I like the, <laughs> you know, the jacket, you know. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> now, Willis, for them, very many people who are super excited that you're here tonight, and it's really good because you know there's that um, hunger. It's hunger, yeah? Yes, hunger. 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 Yes. <laughs> you know, when you come, I'm always so <laughs> subconscious. I'm like, I don't want to make a mistake. You know, there's always, you know, that hunger to know how different words are pronounced. I and see. I'm great that you're here tonight. That's great. I'm really happy that you're here. All right. Um, but, uh, mm -hmm. Betty, before we can continue, yes. uh, kindly, you remember about uh, Pisces? Pisces, last week. I said, we say Pisces, Pisces, not pieces. Not pieces. And I promised something. So oh, you have something. Much for that. Let me just give me a second so that we can have it. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, Willis, so Willis, Betty, <laughs> something here looks like, you know, a map of Africa. Yeah. That is for you. There is something inside uh -huh. or oh. inside. 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 Do you have to? Can you find out? That is a okay. primary stress there. So okay. <laughs> I'll open it for you. Okay. And the moment I open it here, oh. you realize this is Kenya. Yeah. The key to oh, yes. Africa. Then this there is, is something amazing. for you. Oh, this is wow. That is for you. Oh. <laughs> wow, thank you very much. <laughs> it's just, it's, yeah, it's close to matching what I've worn, but this is very, this is really beautiful. Thank you. Pisces. Pisces. <laughs> I remember that. Then, Betty, yes. maybe you, one that time you asked me a question. Yes. What is it that makes Willis? Yes. Betty, due to your wonderful English. Oh, really? I <laughs> felt I have to bring you something that is an equivalent uh -huh. of your English, okay. Oxford. <laughs> you this mean I'm that good? I'm really? telling you, if you want to know what makes Willis, uh -huh. partly it's this, this, Oxford Dictionary, you don't go for the uh -huh. meaning of words uh -huh. alone, but uh -huh. you'll find a guide to how words should be pronounced uh -huh. as we talk about standard English pronunciations. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is such a great <laughs> gift. Thank you very much. Of and course, this you one, know. even your grammar, so many things right inside yes. that dictionary. Yes. And you realize there is a lot this when is you a go great, through this, it. This is, this is amazing. Thank you. This is such a great night. All this And gifts. finally, oh, there's another one. There's uh -huh. a wonderful lady in my house. Okay. A very wonderful lady in my house. Okay. She told me, uh -huh. when you reach KTN, yes. just tell Betty, Congratulations. Oh, really? And here you are. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> She's, uh, fun, She's funnest, a funnest. 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 Thank you very much, Fanny, for this. We, I, you know, I really do appreciate well. you know, the nights that you know, Willis probably comes home late. Yes. <laughs> There you because are. The sh Thank yes. you very much, Willis, for You're all these gifts. You're welcome. Straight from Kisumu County, yes. you know, now in Nairobi. Thank you very much. Karibu. Okay, Asante. All right, so Willis, just before we get to these words that, you know, have been sent to us by our lovely viewers, mm -hmm. what is good? Is there good and bad pronunciation? Yes, Betty, when we talk now English pronunciations, mm -hmm. we have good and bad or wrong pronunciations. Okay. Somebody may ask, the way you're asking me, yes. what amounts to good or wrong pronunciation? Yes. One you should pronounce words in a modern or modern way. Uh -huh. The pronunciation should be modern. Mm -hmm. It should not be archaic uh -huh. or outdated. Uh -huh. So okay. if there is a pronunciation that was being used yes. maybe about 400 years ago, yes. you'll realize that the evolution of languages, uh -huh. certain things like what we call sound shifts and the rest, okay. you'd find by today we'd be talking about modern English uh -huh. or modern English uh -huh. and we have the old English as of now you can't use what was being used in the past. Exactly. There is also this other element mm -hmm. that the pronunciation that you're using should be of native or near native mm -hmm. accent. Mm -hmm. So much such that when you're talking about what we call received pronunciation, mm -hmm. that is the British standard form of pronunciation mm -hmm. that is used by, you know, the educated and cultured persons, mm -hmm. especially in southern England, mm -hmm. but not everybody. Southern. So, uh -huh. 
southern. We say southern. Southern. There is also another point. There are points are yes. so many. Yes, but yes. because of time, mm -hmm. I may not exhaust everything. Yes. You may also judge good pronunciation when we have somebody who has definite knowledge mm -hmm. on the phonology. Mm -hmm. That is the sound system of a given language. Mm -hmm. Even your mother tongue, mm -hmm. if you know the sound system, yes. you'd always be using the correct soundings sound instead of maybe swallowing words okay. every given word that is not amounting to good pronunciation so what are the reasons for <laughs> <laughs> poor pronunciation is there, are there you know i know there's one you know the may maybe mother tongue influence yes when yes. you talk about uh, you're asking about uh, the factors yes. behind poor pronunciation yes, yes. like in africa mm -hmm. and even beyond mm -hmm. you know you are you know uh, mother tongue influence mm -hmm. or the first language influence can affect mm -hmm. the way you pronounce words mm -hmm you may not be able to come out of it. Mm -hmm. Now, you'll be pronouncing words in you know, a wrong way, so that is a factor. We also lack simpler guide materials which mm -hmm. can be used locally, mm -hmm. so that if they can be available in schools, mm -hmm. colleges, and even media houses mm -hmm. or any other organization mm -hmm. where we have you know, uh, serious communication, mm -hmm. if we had simpler guides to pronunciations, mm -hmm. people would do better, but now that they're not there, it is a factor that is affecting so many people. Mm -hmm. Then the other thing that we have is your educational background. Mm -hmm. Which school did you go to? Maybe who handled you at pre-primary level mm -hmm. or primary level and even secondary level yes. and even university? Mm -hmm. You'd find if whoever was handling you was pronouncing words wrongly, yes. then you acquired them from that person, it will affect you. So these are the Betty, teachers. There are so many yes. reasons. Okay. These are the teachers, yes. lecturers and all that. Yes. And even them, mm -hmm. they are also taught by other people who mm -hmm. made them to acquire wrong this pronunciations. Yeah, exactly. Those ones are there. The factors are so many. Mm -hmm. You also have even issues like personal attitude mm -hmm. towards you know pronunciations or a language for that matter. Okay. If you have wrong you know speech habits yes. as a person, then it would be very difficult for you also to improve on your pronunciation but the factors uh -huh. are so many it needs a class <laughs> <laughs> do you think maybe we should introduce you know a, you know a pronunciation lesson in schools so that you know Moving there you forward. are. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. If our education system wants to help people, because we have wonderful people who can become lawyers, yes. they can become judges, magistrates, broadcasters like mm -hmm. you, they mm -hmm. can become even marketers mm -hmm. who would speak mm -hmm. in very clear and effective way when it comes to pronouncing words correctly. Yes. But Betty, what exactly is a problem is that our education yes. system at the moment, not only in Kenya, mm -hmm. in very many countries, yes only lays more emphasis on grammar okay. and vocabulary All right. when it comes to pronunciations right. very little and ecd mm -hmm. what we call ecd okay. that is the early childhood development or you know education All program right. uh -huh. normally we have a problem because sometimes the children may i'm not say, uh, saying saying uh, ah uh, they yeah, may yeah. be told wrong pronunciations All like right. tortoise uh -huh. which is actually tortoise 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 so when they're told tortoise everybody says Tortoise. 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 Yes. There you are. Tort Tortoise. Yes. Okay, let's uh, take some words that you know have been sent uh, by our viewers. And I'll start by, do we say vitamin or vitamin? V. v. Vitamin. Vitamin. I'm talking about RP, the British Standard Pronunciation. Mm -hmm. vitamin. vitamin. But sometimes, remember, mm -hmm. I said here mm -hmm. that pronunciations are not prescriptive. Just like languages in general, mm -hmm. you can't say one plus one mm -hmm. equals two, strictly. Mm -hmm because there are words which may, for certain linguistic or geographical mm -hmm. reasons, mm -hmm. may be pronounced in more than one way, Betty, mm -hmm. and they're allowed or acceptable for that matter. Okay. Yes. All right, let's move on to another one. I'll, this one, I'll spell it out for you. T-E-N-U-R-E. Tenya. You're tenya. talking about tenya. Tenya. My like tenya, tenya in office. You know, your term in office. Uh -huh. Tenya. So, there is the sound n, mm. like in the Kiswahili word nyanya. So, n, <laughs> tenya. 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 Yeah. Okay. Moving on, this, um, do we say apple or apple? Well, very tricky, but the sound, the letter in that word, mm -hmm. the first letter, its name is A. A, letter A. A. But the sound in that word is A, uh, apple, mm -hmm. just like an arrow. Mm -hmm. The first letter is A, but you don't say arrow, mm -hmm. you say an arrow, an, arrow. an apple yes. or apple. Yes. Yes. So it's apple. Yes. All right. And, uh, there's de deposit or deposit oh we say deposit deposit most people think the word is pronounced the way it is spelled which is not the case yes so when you look at it the way it's spelled you'll just say 
deposit. Get me the deposit. Uh -huh. But the correct pronunciation for that word, Betty, yeah. is deposit. De deposit. Deposit. Yes, there you are. Okay. There's another one here which has that ch word. Do you say premature opportunity? Maybe you say correct. premature, mm -hmm. but remember, sometimes somebody can use tiwa, mm -hmm. tiwa, or premature mm -hmm. or tiwa, premature, uh -huh. Pre premature mm -hmm. or premature. So it's but correct, the most premature. common one is premature. Mm -hmm. You get that? Yes. There is even the sounding which is also allowed, premature. Oh, premature. really? There are people who use premature. Is it correct? It's out. Okay. You know, we have, I told you, we have uh, what we call alternative pronunciations. Yes. But there are those which are commonly used mm -hmm. and, you know, considered to be more standard mm -hmm. than the others. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me take a number of uh, them from Twitter. X Walupita is asking, tell him to pronounce the word, this word, Y-A-T-C-H. Y-A-T-C-H. Yacht? Uh, first and foremost, yes. my dear sister, and the person who has sent that in, we normally get the spelling of that word wrong. Oh, really? We don't have T before C and H. It is Y A C H T. Yacht. Yacht, not yacht. yacht. Uh -huh. Most people misspell it as Y A T C H. Yes. Then they say yacht. But it's Y A C H T, and pronunciation for that word is uh -huh. yacht. Yacht. Yachting, a yachting club, not yachting club, the way we commonly say it oh, oh. locally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> Evelyn Ogutu wants to know uh, the correct pronunciation of mythology or mythology. Me. Mm. There is no what I normally call diphthong. The vowel glide, uh -huh. my, no. You just go straight to me. 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 That letter Y takes the sound of the short vowel E. Uh -huh. Me. A uh -huh, myth, uh -huh. mythology, Mytholo not mythology. Mythology. No. Yes. Okay, Barry Sheto wants to know how do we pronounce donkey or donkey? This one we've ever covered, <laughs> but you know, just because you're here today. Betty, what confuses many people, especially mm. locally, when we are talking about English, yes. is certain words. People are not aware of certain basic aspects of pronunciation. Yes. For instance, when we see the word monkey, mm -hmm. monkey, we psychologically just think, since we are not taught properly mm -hmm. about pronunciations, yes. to know about irregular sound values for similar letter sequences, mm -hmm. I'll just say, okay, I saw that one was monkey, yes. now I will say donkey. donkey. But the correct pronunciation for that word is do, donkey. Donkey. Monkey. Just like you say, mm -hmm. laughter. Mm -hmm. But we don't say slaughter house. <laughs> we say slaughter. slaughter house. You realize the spelling is the same. Yes. Or just even the word science and conscience. Mm -hmm. Somebody may say conscience. conscience because of seeing the word science. Mm -hmm. But this is where I'm talking about irregular sound values mm -hmm. for similar letter sequences in English. Mm -hmm. And that is the English English Betty. So it's conscience. 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 Then not we have science but conscience. conscience. Not conscience. Not conscience. Yes. Okay. Um, I, the director or Dr. Watson wants to know H E I R. He H E I R. He I R. Uh -huh. he no, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I get that word. Now. Yes, yes. H E I R. Yes. Letter H is silent. Uh. Many people are not aware of that. Oh, really? And if okay. you ask somebody to write a word that is pronounced like the one you've given me, mm -hmm. you realize somebody will write for you. Hair for Nuele. Yes. You get that? <laughs> but we say hair, H-A-I-R. Yes. But when this one which is being given right here is not hair, that H is silent. Yes. So you say air, just like Upepo. A-I-R uh -huh. and H-E-I-R uh -huh. are words which are called homophones. Yes. Spelled differently but pronounced the same way. All right. Yes. So it's air. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. What about mystery or mystery? Mystery. 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 Not mystery, not mystery, yes. mm -hmm. mystery. Okay. Yes. Moving on to, there's so many, uh, let me just, you know, try to... There's no to problem, <laughs> so long as it's English, <laughs> any English word on earth. Okay. Just ask, so long as your time is okay. Okay, okay fine yes. then. All right, there's this other one, vet, vet, veterinary. <laughs> <laughs> you know the Very doctor. tricky. I've once A talked to doctor. you about something called uh, elision. Mm -hmm leaving parts of mm -hmm, certain mm -hmm, words mm -hmm, in English language. Mm -hmm. Like when I'm talking about the word extraordinary, yes. I'm saying extraordinary for locals. Okay. Extraordinary. Mm -hmm. That word is extraordinary. Extraordinary. E extraordinary. Remember there's a time I also talked of important. Yes. 
but you can say important. Mm -hmm. Please, that word is veterinary. 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 Mm -hmm. Just like we also say restaurant. Mm -hmm. Restaurant. Mm -hmm. So we leave that part of to okay. torrent. Okay. So restaurant, veterinary, okay. by way of elision. Mm -hmm. Those are certain crucial aspects of pronunciation and meant for people who are in careers of serious communication. Serious communication. All right. Like fine. broadcasting. Okay, great. Yes. We will be coming back to this <laughs> word in just a short while. Let's not leave it for, you know, Lingua Shira to continue with for sports. Maybe you can introduce her. Use the camera too to introduce the sports lady. Yes, Lin Washira, when it comes to sport, you know, we Africans and even the world over people love that. So it's you now to make us love it more. Lin, over to you.